All right, people. One of the most annoying things that you have to deal with when you have an aquarium is algae. I probably spend at least two hours every week just scraping off all the algae in all of my fish tanks. But yeah, I recently saw something really cool online, which is this magnetic algae scraper. I can't lie, the video looked so cool. So we are gonna test this out today, but I also thought this is the perfect opportunity to actually compare all the different tools that I have for removing algae. So the things that I've tried out is this sponge this algae remover sponge this algae scraper and even though i bought a brand new magnet i do actually already have a magnet so i've also tested them out and by the way if you do want to purchase any of these items i'll put a link in my descriptions for all of them that will take you directly to amazon but watch this video first so you know which one will be best for you now we are going to test them out in a minute but first let me talk to you about the algae that you get on the gloss you see the way i look at them the algae comes in two stages the first stage i like to call the dust stage which is the stage where your gloss on your fish tank looks like it's dusty it looks really weird because you know it's underwater so you know it's not dust but it genuinely looks like dust people now when the algae is at that stage it is incredibly easy to take off all three of these tools will easily get that algae off you can even get it off with your finger if you rub hard enough so yeah when it comes to that people honestly they all pretty much work the same but the most convenient one would be the magnet because the magnet you just move around it'll clean the glass straight away you don't even need to get your hands wet and the magnet will be strong enough to get that light layer of algae off when it comes to the sponge it also takes it off very easily however with the sponge you're of course gonna have to get your hands wet and you will have to use a little bit of force to go down there and when it comes to the scraper the scraper works incredible on any type of algae but the actual area of it is kind of small so it does take a long time to go through all of it now the algae we're actually going to focus on is the second stage which is when it goes all green and it's in incredibly hard to get it off the glass and that's where all three items do vary in their effectiveness but yeah anyway let's get to the exciting part now which is the magnet because this is actually a combination of the algae scraper and the algae magnet and on top of that apparently the magnet is incredibly strong so um we need to oh okay you take it off like that got like some instruction things on there packaging looks nice man look at that yo so this I think it's the outside of it. Oh, okay, yeah. This is the inside that will go onto the glass. And here we have the scrapers. Whoa, all oh, right, this is a strong magnet, man. <laughs> Yo, okay, that is sick. All right, people, if you get this and you don't have that much strength in your hands, don't put them together because they are very strong. You know what, I do have to say the quality on this is crazy, man. Okay, cool. So it looks like you get a razor scraper, which is for glass, but you also get an acrylic scraper, which is for the plastic ones. All right, this looks very straightforward. It looks like you just clip it in. All right, this attaches onto here like that. I see, all right, and this part just slides onto it like that. Boom! Look at that. But yeah, anyway, let's test these out and see how well they actually work. All right, I've decided to try it out without the actual scraper itself, and it's not as good without the scraper, but it should still be fine against that dusty stage of the algae. Okay, so we have all this algae here, and let's see what happens. Oh, raw. Okay, wait. Ah, I see, okay. Okay, cool. So you know what? It does work pretty well, but nowhere near as well as the algae scraper. All right, so here we have the part that the, al um, that the magnet done. You can see there's still some leftover bits here. Now let's take a look at how the algae scraper does 
just going down here. Look at that, people. The algae scraper by far, and that was just a little bit of pressure. If you put it, if you put some proper pressure on there, it's gonna come off completely. Look at that, amazing. Now, just to cover everything, let me show you how it is with the sponge as well. Look at that, with the sponge, it's just, look at that. We can go over this so many times, but it's just not gonna come off as easily as it does with the scraper. All right, cool. Um, <laughs> so we tried out the magnetic scraper and it does work quite well. I was surprised how much it actually took off. The blade does seem to have a good connection with the glass. But yeah, I do have to say there is a clear winner. And if we were to rank them, I would have to say that magnet is probably the worst. That's the old one. And this type of magnet doesn't really work against that hard algae. In regards to the sponge, the sponge does work, but Yo, <laughs> you're gonna have to put in quite a bit of effort into that. Like, it will make you tired, I can't lie. Because that sponge and that are basically useless against the really tough algae, that's why they are at the bottom. So the real question was, what is better out of these two? And people, I do have to say, the algae scraper beats this by a mile. Now, this is very convenient when it comes to just getting rid of the normal soft algae, the dust algae, whatever you want to call it, and not getting your hands wear and stuff like that but when it comes to the really really tough algae this algae scraper is a must it is so so easy to get the algae off with this and the best thing is it does come with extra blades as well so you can replace the blades so yeah people this came in second place and this is in first place now i'll put the links in my description for both of these items i got them both from amazon and honestly people i would recommend getting both if you have the budget this is around 30 pounds this was around seven pounds or something like that of course the prices do vary sometimes on amazon and um, sometimes they have offers and things like that but yeah if you have the budget to get both i would say get both because they both have their pros and cons like this is so much more effective but because the blade is so small it just takes such a long time with this one honestly if you take the blade off and just use this part you can clean the whole glass so quickly and this is quite rough i can't lie I do like that. I'm definitely going to keep this. And yeah, I guess the best tool that you can use to remove algae is an algae scraper. But yeah, people, this was a video on how to remove the algae from the glass. However, recently I've also had to battle against some algae that was growing on the spider wood in my Fluvial Roma 240. And if you want to see how I tackled that problem, then click right here.